Hello and welcome back. On to another video. On to yet another Wood Fan Art painting. Seems that this guy can do everything. Although yesterday I was painting his travails and not his victories. And it's yet to be seen whether he'll pull off a victory today, but right now he's alone off the front has been for about a hundred kilometers, maybe more. Just dropped the American Quinn Simmons, who had managed to hold his wheel up until just a kilometer ago. It is a little strange in the tour to have the yellow jersey off on a solo attack. But then this tour isn't quite going to script, <laughs> which is fine, which is great, in fact. You know, it's yesterday's cobbles really put a lot of people, well, put three people out of the race. I know one with a broken collarbone, and actually Woot's teammate and team leader dislocated his shoulder in the stage, but the story is that he sat down on a fan's chair at the side of the road after wrecking and simply put his shoulder back in place on his own, then got back on the bike and got back to racing. Of course, he's not having a great day today, so it will remain to be seen whether he can manage to stay in this race or be a factor. They still have Vingegaard who looked to lose time but managed to get back in. He had inopportune bike changes. Actually it's already become a meme <laughs> with his team swapping bikes and swapping bikes again and he changed two bikes and then on the last one it his uh, team car showed up. So he got on a bike and then immediately got back off it. And then that person ran across the road to get back on their bike. And it was actually kind of amusing. So I thought I'd catch the guys who give us the great images. One of the Moto camera operators. These guys are on the back of the motorcycle all day long filming. I don't know if you can quite make it out. So he's got a driver in front of him and then it's currently standing up on the back of the motorcycle to get an interesting shot and they'll really go through all kinds of contortions, lay down way over the edge of the bike get the camera at a low angle and it's really pretty impressive. I once thought, and in retrospect it never would have worked, but that I might be able to do what I'm doing right now from the back of a motorcycle. <laughs> that it was going to be in the Giro d'Italia. Here, sorry, I'm stop just to title this. So I was trying to think of the title and came up with camera worthy. It's certainly how you would describe Woot's tour thus far. But so to go was so I thought I'd be able to paint from the back of the motorcycle, and for that end I stopped using um, overhead shots, kind of working on the premise that let's always make the race look like I'm in the middle of it. Of course, it was a foolish idea to think I could actually pull this off to be able to paint and stay with an image long enough, you know, five minutes. Of course, everything's changing. The race is constantly moving. And then that was, I think I said, it, the Giro d'Italia in that particular year. The... Um, there was only about 
eight days where it wasn't raining or snowing. And obviously with watercolors, that moisture while out on the road <laughs> wouldn't have worked. So, you know, it was a good idea. Actually, I never even got to test it in. I have no idea. I had set it up in my mind how I could make it work. I never got out on the back of my motorcycle and tested it. I had set something up with a friend, but the race organizer, well, the, one of the organizers, this was the year the Giro started in Ireland. And um, the people who had made that happen were the people I was working with. And so when they approached the race organizers about me doing this, they were politely told that uh, there were cameramen who had been waiting years to get on the back of a motorcycle, press photographers and such, you know, up to 20 years following the race, but not able to be on a motorcycle, which is where all the shots are, let's face it. And that if their guy, me, were to get on a bike, it was totally possible that they're, um, I'd be taken out and shot. <laughs> because, and then my motorcycle ride taken from me. I mean, I was probably extreme, and but you know, I went, hey, you know, not to be stereotypical, but we are talking about Italians. I, I think I should take this seriously. But it just wasn't going to happen. That was the, the long and the short of it. And it wouldn't have worked. So I never did get around to uh, actually testing it. And I don't think I could have gotten the kind of images that I can get from doing it the way I do, which is I'm following along with the race as close to live as possible and then stopping the video when I see something that's interesting visually or interesting story story of the race wise or you know, it's just something that catches my eye or I will admit sometimes I just want to paint my favorite riders and I don't dislike Woot <laughs> I do tend to root for underdogs and so a little You know, he's been such an amazing rider in this race. And in a sense, he's an underdog today, given just how tough the race was for him and his team yesterday. Which, of course, conversely, may be why they let him get out off the front today. So, of course, now that I've allowed myself to do... Um, use helicopter video as well. And I've really come to enjoy these overhead shots. And at some point it's the best way to let both the viewer of the show and you, my lovely folks watching this, what's going on in the race. So when you're watching the tour or any other bike race, pour one out for these motorcycle drivers and cameramen. You know, risking your lives might be too strong of a word, but they are definitely taking risks to give us these amazing shots of the race and you know both this helicopter shot and what this guy is getting is a nice close-up of the uh, both leader of the tour and leader of the stage right now and a lot of these drivers 
our former bike racers and are trusted by the Peloton because they, the Peloton knows that they know that's not what I wanted to do. Um, they they can sort of anticipate what the dry what the riders are going to do, and make sure they're not in the space that the uh, racers want to be in. Because you know, I've not been hit by a motorcycle, but I've been hit by a few cars and a pickup truck, and it doesn't feel good. And in that case, you know, it just was, well, in one case, it was three and a half months out of my life, that pickup truck. But, you know, for these guys, they would be out of the tour and, you know, their season's over and maybe much, much worse. So that trust that needs to be developed between motorcycle driver and tour racers is essential. So this is a very simple painting, but I do like it. So I just need to lay in the background. And one thing I haven't mentioned recently is to be aware of how you make your marks. So like in this roadway, right now the tripod's a little bit in my way, but as I lay this paint down, I want to follow not the outline of the rider and the motorcycle, but the direction of the road. And that will help give dimension. All right, <laughs> this tripod is in my way. To do this because I got to swing my arm this way and also what this does so if you do have a color blend option where that this first bit that I laid in got a little drier than I wanted it to now the brush strokes help inform the curve of the road and give another reference to the speed that Woot and the motorcycle are going. Today was close to being the fastest tour stage on record, although now it seems to have uh, dropped off that record pace. But It's still a very, very fast stage, and so they're still moving quite quickly. This is quite an odd angle I'm doing here. So this painting is just about done. That gives me time to remind you to um, give it a thumbs up if you like what you see. Share it with your friends. Share it on your social media. All of this helps drive attention. You can see all of the cycling artwork at The Art of Cycling dot blogspot.com and it's all linked back to my website where you can purchase it and that's gregleach.com so thanks for taking the time to watch you know i really do appreciate it i hope you learned something while i enjoy the process of talking about it <laughs>